So George, uh, I think one of the really important aspects of teaching the players to play and recognizing how they hit the ball is their grips. Right. And it's a very important part. Everybody has their own personal feel for grips, and we know how tough it is to change grips, but how do you do with, with grips? Well, I realized that I was reviewing our website here, and I realized nowhere on my website, over 700 video clips, <laughs> do I have a video clip about grips. Right. I mean, grips is a major thing. So I'm putting in the players category because I want players to, to know this. So one thing that's helpful, I'm just going to kind of go through all the grips and explain them so that people can have it. If you hit the print button now, well, after this video starts to play, you'll be able to get a printout of all the stuff that we're going to talk about but basically if you look at my racket here Ken uh, one thing that's pretty helpful when teaching grips is if we can number the grips I always tell players if they look at the back end of the grip it's like a like an octagon right they got to keep it on edge not on side but on edge and if you do that then one is here mm -hmm. two is that angle three is the back side four is down here and five would be basically underneath okay. now if those are our reference points now we use two other reference points our knuckle right and the pad of our hand all right so if i do okay. a line from the knuckle to the heel yep. my hand like that again exactly so let's just start when your knuckle and here's the easy way to remember it, your knuckle and the pad of your hand are always going to be in the same grip yep. on the same bevel so right now i have my knuckle and my pad on level one way up at the top and what this is good for is called the eastern backhand this is what Federer would use when he hits a one-handed backhand okay so that's right. a that's a grip it's not all that common but that's, a, that's the name of that grip now when you take the knuckle and pad you slide it over to the next level it looks like this I'm on level two and that right there is what we call the continental this is a huge and misunderstood grip Right. Okay, you use this for your serves, for lollies, for right. slices. This is a huge grip, but that's what the continental grip is supposed to look like. Now, if you keep going over one more level, knuckle and pad, now on level three, so I'm behind the ball, that is what we call the eastern forehand grip. Right. And it's a pretty common grip, okay, uh, for, for forehands. If we keep going further south, Ken, <laughs> we get to level four. Now my... Uh, knuckle and my pad are on level four that's a little bit on the south end this is what they call a semi-western grip right. it's very common it's good for hitting top spin okay and a lot of the pros use this and all the way to the bottom believe it or not if you get your hand underneath on level five and pad it looks like this that's called the full western it's kind of a limiting grip but it's good for some things now i would never teach a player to hit this grip but at the same time, I can't say it's a bad grip because there's people who've been number one in the world with that grip. That's right. Although it's pretty rare, it's not the most common grip. Now let's just take it and talk about backhands for a second. When someone adds, a common error people make is they use their forehand grip, let's say at Eastern, number and they three. simply add the other hand and they think, there's my grip, that's my two-handed backhand. And that's actually wrong. Uh, can people hit that? Well, certainly. Sure. Some people can hit it pretty good. But the proper backhand grip for a two-hand is the left hand is gonna be basically on three on the other side. It's like an eastern forehand. This hand right here should come up to the continental. Right. Some might even bring it all the way to eastern. So this is the grips. I think it's important to understand them, but the easier way to understand them is hit the print button right now, everybody. You'll get a good explanation with some diagrams and pictures, advantages of all these grips. But getting your grips proper is just a huge thing. You can't hit good shots without proper grips. It's the only way to get a grip on your game. That's right.